So I now have four rows. And actually, I didn't do the spacing the way that I like it, so I'm going to fix that. So I'm just going to recopy and paste all of these. So two, three, four. All right, so four, four rows. Okay, so I talked earlier about how many columns do I need. So I'm going to have two columns. So one column, two columns. One column, two columns. And these don't, these won't have any columns. That's okay. So the first thing I need is I need my little dog here. And I'm also going to need that. So... So let's figure out how big this needs to be. I'm going to go ahead and put back on my guidelines so I can see them better. All right. So here's my dog. There's my text. Right. So here's the first image. So I want this. Now I could crop like I did the background, or I could use my slices. So that's going to be a slice, and I think that will be a slice. And it's a little extra, it's more than I need, but it will help keep the spacing consistent. And I like that. Let's just make sure that this is right, and there. And I can see the purple that I made is a little too big. So I'm going to fix that really fast. There it is. All right. I threw this, this um, mock-up together really, really fast, so it's not perfect, but it should work. Oh, I forgot. So on the Slice tool, Slice from Guides, and it will slice the guides I made. So I'm going to do file save for web and I'm going to click that slice and that slice and that's it. I'm going to drop this down to maybe around 60. No, it looks a little too pixelated. I want to find one that looks clean but isn't more than it needs and I think 75 is decent. So I'm going to save and this will be Taco dog logo. Actually, I'm just going to call it taco dog. And this is going to be only my selected slices. So, selected slices, save. And now inside of my folder, I've got, well, I've got an images folder inside of an images folder. But uh, that's okay, I'll just move them real fast. There we go. I don't need two images folders. So taco dog and this will be logo and taco dog this will be text. Alright so what I need to do here is okay let's go ahead and go back a little ways so kind of to here. So I've got this on one side and this on the other side so two columns so that means inside of this row I need two columns. One for the taco dog logo and one for the taco dog text just like in my mockup. So this is going to be image src equals and this will be images because remember it has to be in the images folder and then taco taco dog logo dot jpeg and we'll go ahead and save that and for the next one this will be the text so image src equals close that out and it's once again in the images folder and taco dog text so taco dog underscore text dot jpeg all right, so let's see how this is looking. Right? So it's getting there. Now, 
this isn't quite in the right spot, and it's not quite obvious yet, but I'm not going to fix it yet. I'm going to wait a minute to show you to make it more obvious what's going on with it. So let's make this bigger again so you can see what I'm doing. So the next step is this. And when I slice this, I don't want it to be divided by this. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I actually want it to slice down to this little yellow area. Uh, I could build that yellow area on my own in HTML, and that would make it a little bit more efficient. But right now, we're just talking about making things easier. So, so I'm going to include that in the slice, just so I don't have to deal with it when I'm trying to figure out this section. So once again, go to my slices, slice from guides, and I'm going to do save for web. I'm going to click on this one here. I'm going to save it. And this will be, I don't know, let's call it banner, or maybe, maybe taco dog top banner. That sounds good to me. So we will go back and edit it until we get back to where we were. So right here, well, almost. I want that guide there still. So I'm not going to be grabbing that extra yellow on accident. I'm going to bring this back there. Okay, so let's minimize this and let's do our next step. So in this row, in this row, we're going to have just that image. I could have built this out of more modern HTML, but the HTML that you guys know right now can't do this exactly. It could do something close, but not exactly this. So it's just an image. That's all I've done. I'm just using an image. So image src equals, and let's check on how it saved it. So once again, it dropped into an image folder, which I don't want. I'll try. I'm going to try to remember that next time. So here's our banner, and I don't want it to be called top banner underscore 08. I just want taco dog underscore top banner. So I fix the name, so it's in the images folder, and it's taco dog underscore top banner dot jpeg. I'm gonna save it, and let's take a look. Not quite what we were expecting, and the reason why is this whole thing is now taking up the same column space because I forgot to do a td col span equals 2. So now if we save it and we reopen it, ta -da! but still not quite the way mine is. So if you look on mine, on my mockup, this is way over on the right, but it's not on the right here. So what I need to do is I need to put in here td align equals right. If I save it and I reopen it, ta da, it's now on the right side. So, next thing this center section. So, just like before, I'm going to go ahead and drag because I didn't want to include that yellow in this image. I want to do the same thing here. I don't want that yellow in that image. So, I'm going to drag this up to, to the edge of the image here. Drag this over, make sure it's just that part there. And now we've got my my dog friend here. And I'm going to go ahead and once again slice this. Slice from guides. File save for web. Click on my dog. And save it. So this I'm going to go to Taco Dog because it keeps putting the images folder. If I already have the images folder, maybe it won't make it for me. So this will be... Um, I don't know, front graphic. We'll call it taco dog underscore front graphic. Undo back before my slices. And if we look, there we go. Taco dog front graphic. Just get rid of the extra text there. Now what's going to happen here is this is once again two columns, so one column, two column, and it lines up with this pretty nicely. So I shouldn't have to do anything special. I should just be able to make two TD tags, and everything should work right. So let's let's see. 
So image src equals, and I'm just doing the image on the left first, and then I'll tackle the right side second. Underscore front graphic dot jpeg. Okay. So let's see. Uh oh, oh, I forgot to do the images thing. Images slash taco dog underscore front graphic dot jpeg. There we go. There's our dog, looking rather nice, don't you think? So now we need these buttons. So how to do these buttons? I think this is where I am going to put a table inside of this table. I could do a series of rows here and then just tell this to go across all three rows, row spans, but row spans can get confusing and I think just building a second table inside of it will be more simple. So I'm gonna hang on and get to this after I do this bottom part. So let's go ahead and drag this out because now I just want this bottom image here. So I'm gonna slice again. Where's my, there it is. Slice from guides. File save for web. And grab my hand to move down. Go back to the slice tool, click this slice here. Save, save for web, selected slices. Good, good, good. And it's gonna be the Taco Dog bottom banner. Switch back to Taco Dog so it puts in the right spot. Save it. Let's take a look. There we go, we have our Taco Dog bottom banner with our extra number on there that we don't need. Before I forget, I'm gonna go back in my history so that way I don't have those slices anymore. Good, good, good. And we're gonna come back to this. We'll come back to this. So this is our our menu here. So just a note to come back to this. Come back to this. All right. So down here, we need that bottom banner. So image scr equals inside the quotation marks images slash taco dog underscore bottom banner dot jpeg so if we save it let's take a look ah so once again I forgot to do the TD Cole span so Cole span equals 2 I always forget Cole spans so I saved it with command s and I'm gonna refresh it Ta-da! so now all we need is that menu on the right side. 